so we are starting off a uh, good morning and warm welcome to the all the participants for the uh, virtual trade fair on coconut products organized by the coconut development board ministry of agriculture farmers welfare government of india along with fiki and as you are aware it's a three day event virtual event we have as soon now we have a registered uh, participants of uh, sellers of coconut products 57 sellers of coconut products and we have registered buyers domestic buyers 285 domestic buyers and we have also 34 international buyers altogether we have 319 uh, buyers registered for this event um, the current scenario uh, prior to the covid most of the people were very useful to the physical exchange of communications and physical trade fairs but after the covid scenario started then uh, people started to venture into virtual trade fairs and uh, events and programs. And FICRI has been pioneering this activity in association with the government of India and with the various state governments in promoting virtual trade fairs and events. And we have been doing various virtu uh, virtual trade fairs in various uh, sectors and also in association with the government of India and various state governments also. And this is uh, many of the buyers as well as sellers are useful are used to this platform but for the awareness of the those who are joining for the first time it's a very useful platform where buyers and sellers can interact with each other and it's it's also very time very less expensive and also unlike uh, other scenario people have to go to respective countries and get exchange the communication but this is a first hand experience in getting you no know, buyers and sellers each other and and it have been quite successful also so with this uh, um, uh, opening note, I will also like to introduce few words about the FIKI aspects. FIKI is the apex body of chambers of commerce and industry in the country, and it's established in 1927 as per the advice of the father of nation. We work in various sectors. We have around 75 verticals, and agriculture is one of the verticals we operate. And also we have the offices throughout the country in various state offices as international offices. And we work very closely with the central governments and state governments in promoting trade and investment uh, to the country. And also uh, regarding the trade first and activities, we have a separate department also trade first, which takes care of the uh, exhibitions part also. In fact, most of the major exhibitions organized in the country are, are being done by FIKI in association with the central government and state governments. And uh, uh, in today's uh, virtual trade fair, the three days virtual trade fair, we have uh, um, almost uh, 57 coconut products and diverse from various uh, categories of coconut development uh, authorities, officials will explain on the same. We have 57 products and they are classified into four basic categories from kernel, from the inflorescence, from the water, from the coconut shell. And to the uh, I have a piece of advice to the sellers of coconut products. Uh, There's a mistake, actually, it's a 50 sellers. Uh, by mistake, I mentioned not 57. Uh, 50 sellers. Please try to use this part platform and uh, especially try to utilize it from the, your desktop, over, desktop and the laptop so that you get a better clarity and visibility from the FICU team, the technical side. From the FICU technical side, we will be uh, giving all inputs and updates regarding the program and the updates of the meetings uh, being fixed up uh, regularly one hour each to the respective participants to the respective uh, uh, buyers and sellers so that they also know what is happening and we'll also try to get them contacted and connected try to yeah. go to the dashboard of the uh, web platform there you'll be finding what are the meetings the inquiries posted and also uh, see whatever the enquiry is possible. Try to uh, close these enquiries. If there is any difficulty, please get in touch with us. We will also help it out. We will try to fix up maximum meetings in two to three days and also we'll extend possibly one more day too so that whatever meetings has been not completed, we'll try to complete in the Friday also. So try to utilize these opportunities. Try to get interaction with the uh, from the, uh, the sellers and sellers. And any difficulty, you can always refer back to us. With this opening note, I would like to hand over to I would like to hand over to Sri Deepthi Nair, Deputy Director of Marketing for the Keynote Address. 
thereafter sri sebastian k s assistant director will uh, introduce the manufacturers of coconut products how to say with dp nayar deputy director marketing coconut and development board thank you sir you are muted dp okay i'm audible now thank you audible audible you can yes so thank you savia matthew and first of all on behalf of coconut development board i would uh, wish to extend a warm welcome to all the respected entrepreneurs of coconut products who have joined in this virtual trade fair and all the prospective buyers uh, of coconut products who are actually cruising with us in this journey and also to my dear colleagues uh, sebastian renu and nimesh who have been at the forefront in organizing this fair and uh, the team in fiki especially uh, serena renjit and all the others who have actively involved in uh, launching this program today so um, as uh, mr savio has already pointed out today actually we have all joined virtually to kick start this a uh, new initiative this is actually a first time for coconut development board and uh, so this is going to be organized uh, from today for a period of 3 days uh, we have joined uh, with uh, fiki uh, for this 3 day uh, coconut world the details of which uh, i i think uh, sebastian will uh, elaborate on after this uh, we are all aware that uh, this pandemic has created a new normal which has restricted our movements our activities uh, and we are not able to promote our products in the domestic market and also in globally so uh, what we mean is that through this virtual trade fair this is an attempt to uh, take our products to the millions of buyers and traders prospective consumers retail chains and all across the globe so can uh, our entrepreneurs uh, can show their products so uh, around 50 entrepreneurs have joined this virtual fair they have showcased the variety of uh, diversified products from coconut that they are producing and uh, as already pointed out by mr savio Uh, the prospective buyers actually they can share their needs uh, to our entrepreneurs through the various facilities like there is a chat facility there is a facility for arranging meetings with the buyers there are common meetings being arranged with the bulk buyers with e-commerce platforms or even the buyers can also reach out to our entrepreneurs individually uh, which uh, can really, uh, result in establishing trade linkage mm. regarding the current situation actually when we consider the coconut sector the entrepreneurs may be knowing we are moving through a comparatively favorable situation like our coconut prices are almost getting on par with the international prices earlier our domestic prices were very high so that our export was not competitive but now we are competitive and also demand for our coconut products has also increased during this uh, trying times mainly the pandemic has uh, induced a health consciousness the medicinal and health attributes uh the shortage in supply in the global market uh, due to the various economic factors in the neighboring countries and all so this is an opportunity for our entrepreneurs uh to develop and expand our market what you have to do is that you have to assure supply of quality products so through this virtual trade fair we are um, we are showcasing our indian products to the global market and also to the domestic market so by seeing our uh, products our brochures our videos our buyers should be attracting to us so that they feel that to, to come to us and establish trade linkages so with this i really invite all of you to be part of this virtual trade fair and undertake this three day journey with us and we hope that this journey would be really fruitful and benefiting to all uh, not only to the entrepreneurs to the buyers the traders to all involved and uh, we hope that this will result in long lasting relations in trade in coconut products so uh, thank you and all my uh, best wishes for a very successful virtual trade fair thank you over to you sebastian thank you ma'am thank you ma'am i hope that i am audible am i audible can you can you speak a little more louder sebastian am i audible yeah now it's audible okay. please please speak closer to the mic yeah. the task entrusted to me is to introduce all the exhibitors as uh, sagya sir told earlier we are we are having 50 buyers 50 sellers for this fair i, I am proud to say that uh, almost all who is who of indian uh, coconut processing sector are blessed with this occasion 
uh, I this is one of the best opportunity for you people to showcase your products in a global stage with uh, by sitting in your workplace. I uh, the, uh, we are having fifty participants. I just introduce. I just I I I am not taking much time to introduce this all the uh, uh, cell lists because it is a time consuming process. But what I am uh, doing now is to list out the uh, all the cell lists and their core products because most of them are having uh, dozens of coconut products. Question, can you can you speak closer to the mic? Hello. I am. Am I audible? No, now it's perfectly clear. Continue. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I I am not taking this opportunity to introduce all the sellers because the selling sellers list is slightly lengthy. What I am doing now is just uh, tell what are what are uh, manufacturers are partic participating in this fair and their core products only. In alphabetical order, I am listing the participants. First is Adrix. Their core product is virgin coconut oil and extra virgin coconut oil. Second is RL Exports. Their major product is organic certified coconut oil and virgin coconut oil. Plus, they are having desiccated coconut powder and coconut flour and coconut milk based soap. Then, Anjarakandi Farmers Service Cooperative Bank. It's a cooperative. One of the major cooperative bank in the state of Kerala. Their major product is coconut oil, virgin coconut oil, coconut milk, uh, coconut water-based chips. Very late. Hello. Very late. Natural Foods Private Limited. They are the manufacturers of coconut water and tender coconut water. Then Apex Cocoa and Solar Energy Private Limited. Their product, core products are coconut milk, coconut cream, virgin coconut oil, extra virgin coconut oil, coconut water, coconut milk powder, coconut flour, and desiccated coconut powder. Then Aricat Oil Industries. Their major products, coconut oil, uh, cold plus coconut oil, extra virgin coconut oil. Then virgin coconut oil capsules also they are dealing. Then Benson Foods and Beverages, their product coconut oil and virgin coconut oil. Chetur Oil Mills, coconut oil and virgin coconut oil. Then Coco Nature, their product is virgin coconut oil. Then GJ Enterprises, their product is coconut chips. They are one of the major brands in coconut chips. Then Global Coconut Farmers Producer Company, it is an FPO. Their product is Nira in Tetra Pak. This is organic Nira as well as ordinary Nira in Tetra Pak. They are the first company launched Nira in Tetra Pak on commercial basis. Then Green Valley Oils, coconut oil and cold press virgin coconut oil are their major products. Along with that, they are having low fat DZ and other coconut products. Then Greenara International, their products, extra virgin coconut oil and coconut milk. Hill Gold Agro products, Desic their product desiccated coconut water, sorry, desiccated coconut powder and virgin coconut oil. Holy Star Transfer, they are having coconut milk, coconut milk powder, desiccated coconut and coconut water. They are having uh, coconut milk in aluminium cans. That facility also they are having. Then Intomitra farm products, they are having coconut flour, virgin coconut oil, and coconut oil. Then Iriti Coconut Producer Company, that is also a farmer producer company from Kannur. Their major product is coconut oil. Then Jain Agro Food Products, they are the pioneer in packed tender coconut water. They have established their first unit in the 90s. They are the first unit availed the technology of packed tender coconut from Coconut Development Board. Then Kalpaga Chemicals, their product is coconut shell based activated carbon. 
then harviga food private limited their product desiccated coconut powder virgin coconut oil and coconut chips then kesiko so sebastian can you can you just keep closer to the mic yes yes kesiko kesike agra products private limited okay my sound is okay now savya sir it's okay you can continue okay ah uh, kesike agra products virgin coconut oil defaulted desiccated coconut powder kerapura products private limited coconut oil and virgin coconut oil kerakta coconut oil manufacturing private limited they are having lot of products uh, like virgin coconut oil ordinary coconut oil desiccated coconut powder coconut oil uh, virgin coconut oil capsules hair creams then coconut based uh, curry powder and all then kkr extractions coconut oil coconut water coconut mud soap then klf normal industries they are having coconut oil virgin coconut oil coconut milk coconut milk powder desiccated coconut powder coconut vinegar neera sugar and coconut soap kodiyathur service cooperative buying their core product is coconut oil edible coconut oil konasima agra products coconut oil and virgin coconut oil kodikodans agra foods and exports private limited their products frozen sliced and shredded coconut then virgin coconut oil then and fresh coconut also they are exporting kpl oil mills coconut oil virgin coconut oil and coconut milk powder life tree agros tender coconut water and tender coconut water based beverages madura agra products tender coconut water and flavored coconut milk maharani agra products desiccated coconut powder their core product medicatil milk coconut oil virgin coconut oil desiccated coconut powder coconut paste roasted coconut paste and coconut flour modern coconut modern oil milk coconut oil natta nutrico coconut food products llc natadi coco and natadi coco based beverage so uh, sebastian please speak is close to the mic okay sorry sir new periyar oil mills coconut oil and refined coconut oil pranatmaga ayurvedic products virgin coconut oil virgin coconut oil based ayurvedic products and coconut milk pure tropic tender coconut water coconut water and flavored coconut milk curico exim private limited coconut based curry paste royal rich condiments coconut oil virgin coconut oil rapco coconut oil sorry rapco coconut is india private limited virgin coconut oil and baby oil shriram coconut products coconut milk powder desiccated coconut powder defaulted desiccated coconut powder Saukya Agro and Retail Concepts Private Limited, Tender Coconut. Sorry, ah, the Tender Coconut of uh, different forms. Then Super Coco Company, Desiccated Coconut Powder, Coconut Flakes, and Coconut Shreds. Swedish Shaba, Coconut Milk Powder, Coconut Chips, Desiccated Coconut Powder. Umabadi Coconut Hybrid, Coconut Seedlings, Coconut Sugar, Organic Coconut Sugar. BV Industries, Desiccated coconut powder yes there that is some am um, cork product of vv industry vadagara coconut producer company that is also a farmer producer company their products are neera ordinary coconut oil coconut water virgin coconut oil and baby oil vital agro industries products their core product desiccated coconut powder these are the 15 sellers participating in this trade fair i hope that all the participants will make utilize the features of virtual trade fair maybe we are not familiar so please the... please speak closer to the mic sebastian are, yeah sorry we are not familiar with the uh, features of this platform most of our people maybe buyers are more familiar but sellers sell like we are not very familiar with this platform anyway i hope that we will learn something from this uh, experience later on we will we will update our skills and then next program onwards at least we can participate very actively because we are having some deficiencies like we are not having enough uh, publicity materials and all but anyway i hope that almost all the 50 participants have arranged their uh, this stalls in a very nice way i congratulate all the participants i take this opportunity to convey our uh, all appreciation to the uh, sellers on behalf of uh, coconut development board thank you all i hope that uh, i think uh, let us uh, 
start the uh, let us start the business activities from yeah thank you thank you mr deepthi nair and mr sebastian for the introduction as well as the giving a, a profile of the um, sellers also and one more information which i need to pass on as already mentioned uh, we have a session with a major uh, procurement company which lulu group in the afternoon all the details have been shared that's at 4 o'clock and during the three days we'll be also introducing to the major e-commerce players and other bulk, bulk uh, purchases also so that timing will be introduced to the inform to the uh, the uh, the um, um, sellers regularly please do try to attend these sessions and uh, we will also follow from our side and uh, a last piece of advice to all the participants especially sellers and buyers try to take utilize this opportunity from this sellers perspective do uh, do i mean up, upon somebody or uh, in case uh, you have the system should be always alive and somebody should be always alive i mean keep watching the system and the platform wherever the enquiries are being passed on try to catch up on the enquiries and any issues any difficulties please revert back and regarding the uh, bias we have been following up with them yesterday and i don't words today also we have been regularly following it up so some of the meeting schedules have been already we got in touch with them and we'll try to pass on the information by today one o'clock once regularly which are the meeting schedules and accordingly the meetings can happen between buyers and sellers so with this opening note anything to be added uh, from deepthi nair said otherwise uh, we will uh, uh, conclude this inaugural part the the you can officially launch this program in the government development board side yeah. i think we can proceed with the launch okay okay so you can officially announce ma'am okay with the uh, on behalf of coconut development board uh, i would like to say that we are launching officially launching the virtual trade fair of 2022 uh, welcome to all thank you thank you ma'am thank you so with this we are concluding this opening uh, uh, inaugural soft launch and we are proceeding to the uh, program and the virtual trade fair as open thank you thank you each one of you